Hey guys, today I'm back with part one of my Christmas nail art challenge and I have three designs for you today. Uh, this challenge I found on Google and it was created by Tia at icelacker.blogspot.com. So, I hope you enjoy. So day one, the theme was red and I knew I had to do Rudolph nails. So I started off by applying two coats of Barry M Crush Ribbon from the Velvet Matte Collection to my middle finger. It's a soft, velvety brown and it's perfect for fall. Uh, once that had dried, I then applied a coat of my Maniology Sticky Base for the layered stamping. So, with my Made in London Noel 05 stamping plate, which is an awesome Christmas layered stamping plate, I stamped the reindeer's face with a medium brown stamping polish. Then, I carefully stamped it on my nail. When layer stamping, it's easier to use a clear jelly stamper because you can see better where you're putting the image. Uh, using a base polish, I then stamped the antlers and inner ear part of the plate. And then I stamped that on the Rudolph's face. Uh, back to the same plate and a black stamping polish, I continued to stamp the eyes and the mouth. And off camera, I removed the nose because I'll be going in and filling that in later. And I stamped it on my nail. Next, with a red polish and a dotting tool, I put a little dot on his nose. <laughs> so moving on, I painted the rest of my nails with Crimson Couture, also from the Barry M Velvet Matte Collection. So after two coats of red matte polish, I applied a layer of sticky base coat to my ring finger. Then with my Mary London Festive 03 stamping plate and a beige stamping polish, I then stamped the reindeers. Since my nails aren't very wide, I couldn't fit the whole image on my nail, so I removed the outer rows of the reindeer and then stamped what was left in the centre of my nail. Uh, because the image looked a bit bold after I removed everything else, I went back in with my Festive plate and I stamped a few stars around the outside. And I finished that off camera. Sealing the design in, I then applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat to the stamping designs. And since I left the index and pinky fingers plain, just with the velvet matte red, I just used a normal glossy top coat. And finally, to bring back all the goodness from those matte polishes, I used a matte top coat. And there you go, there's my reindeer nails. So day two's theme was green, and I have these green ornament nails for you. So for me, I had to use my favorite green hollow polish. I use it every Christmas. It's super chic lacquer, uh, no rest for the wicked. And I love it so much. I've literally used it so many times on my channel. I applied a layer of that to my riddle finger and then using the same no out over by plate from the last money, I start the image Merry Christmas with a gold polish, which is so extra from Twinkle Tea. And then I start that straight on my middle finger. So for the rest of the nails, I applied three coats of succulent from Picture Polish, a soft green with hollow flakes. And then with the same stamping plate, I stamped the bases of the ornaments with no rest for the wicked. And then I did each ornament in a different shape, because obviously you didn't want all of them the same. So back was so extra, I then stamped the strings of the hanging ornaments. Layering the design at the top of the nail, so it looks like that they're dangling from my cuticles. I then used a white stamping polish from Twinkle Tea and stamped the patterns from the ornaments. And I do like the stripey one, it's cute. And I carefully layered each of these on top of the base that we'd already created with the green hollow. You try and match the designs up. And once all my fingers are looking fabulous and I've got ornaments on all of them, to seal the design in, I applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat. And 
And there you go, these green ornament nails. And I would love to have these ornaments in real life. I will say it again, I love this green hollow polish so much. It's similar to green taffy from Hollow Taco, but it's slightly darker. So the last money for day three, the theme was snowflakes. And I was chose a very simple design for this. I painted all of my nails with three coats of Mystic Moonstone from Cirque Colours. It is a beautiful white sheer polish with a blue shimmer and holographic flakes. Stunning. And since the polish looks like snow anyway, I decided to go for a very simple stamping image. So I chose this snowflake image from my Moe London Festive 47 and I stamped it with a blue stamping polish. And then I just stamped that design on all of my nails. Just something easy and simple. And then finally I used a layer of smudge resistant top coat. And there you go, there's the snowflake nails. Very, very easy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was feeling lazy that day and I didn't really want to put too much effort in. <laughs> and there you go, my three Christmas designs for part one of my Christmas nail art challenge. And I hope you like them and please tell me which one's your favourite in the comments below. Uh, feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe would be good. And I'll see you next time with part two of this challenge. Till next time, bye!